Cyril Ramaphosa and Energy Minister Guid Mantesh claim they are about to bring load shedding to an end. We are working overtime to ensure that there is no more load shedding in South Africa, they said in a statement. He went on to say that they were looking at several ways to ensure that this aim was met and that they would keep the public updated on their progress. The petitioners contend that South Africa's energy problems are caused by the lack of an integrated energy strategy, as required by Section 6 of the National Energy Act. Ramaphosa should introduce Part 6, which enables for the formulation of an integrated energy plan according to contenders. The president's spokesperson Vincent Maguenia stated that they have not yet been alerted about this application and hence cannot comment at this time, but that their legal team would answer once they have reviewed all documents produced in court. According to Kawani of Green Connection, the government's apparent reluctance to implement Section 6 and develop an inclusive and climate-aware energy plan under that section creates the impression that the government is incompetent or that the energy crisis is designed to force them to make energy choices that enrich their own interests. The government must be responsible for this. Apparently, people have lost faith that the government can meet their energy needs, he added, the human wall erected around Luchulai House by the ANC Youth League in response to the DA march was no surprise. Ramaphosa, Minerals and Energy Minister Guid Mantesh also did not close ANC ranks as external pressure on leaders from both parties did not increase after the weekend.